Hello, beautiful souls. So the mission of this video is to examine the transfer of energy within your metaphysical dimension of consciousness, opposed to only focusing on the transfer of energy through its more common and more easily measured dimension of space-time. I also want to demonstrate how everything in your environment can converge to affect not only your individual consciousness, but the aggregate consciousness as well. So let's start this mission with what science has already proven, which is that within your practical space-time dimensional reality, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It simply changes form. For example, light energy from the sun can hit an apple tree and cause it to photosynthesize and grow and create this apple. And when you eat this apple, your body then uses mechanical energy and chemical energy to digest the apple and break it down so your cells can store it in other forms of energy that can then be used to help you carry out all of your body's functions, including giving you the energy necessary, the kinetic energy necessary, to eat another apple. <laughs> Gotta love how feedback loops work, right? And when you eat this apple, you're not only eating a derivative of energy from sun, you're also eating a derivative of energy from a rainstorm that was used to come and hydrate the apple tree working in conjunction with electrical energy from an irrigation system that could have also been used to hydrate the apple tree, um, working with any chemical energy in the form of like pesticides or compost that could have been used to nourish and protect the tree, working alongside any uh, machines or tools or people that were used to plant and maintain and harvest the tree and the list just goes on which really demonstrates how interconnected everything is in your space-time reality via energy and the further out in degrees of separation you go you realize that all aspects of physical reality can converge in just one apple so, now let us go beyond what science has already proven. Because within your metaphysical reality, a connectedness to your environment is also taking place within a dimension of consciousness. Which is more difficult to measure. So, let's explore this dimension with an example of a smile. <laughs> now, in this example, a more non-physical, literally sensational energy of happiness has inspired you to smile. But what is causing that sensation of happiness? It is in fact your perceptions of everything in your environment that converge into the emotion of happiness. In order to demonstrate this, let's say for the sake of an example, your happiness could be a function of your perceptions of a bird that was singing outside of your window this morning, combined with an A- minus that you received on an exam that you totally thought you were going to fail, combined with the feeling you got when you were eating your favorite casserole for dinner last night after your grandma dropped it off, when you told her how you were craving a home-cooked meal, combined with the energy you felt after having a great meditation this morning. And the list just goes on, which even further demonstrates, within a whole different dimension, how interconnected everything is via energy. And just like with the apple, the further out in degrees of separation you go, the more you realize that all aspects of metaphysical reality can converge into one smile. <laughs> and that energy of happiness that inspired the smile originally is then released back out into your environment via that smile to affect the aggregate consciousness 
every time that emotion of happiness changes form in and is perceived by someone new. <laughs> so now hopefully you realize just how interconnected everything is in terms of your physical reality within the space-time dimensions as well as your metaphysical reality within the dimensions of consciousness. And with this information, I implore you to use your energy to be healthy, be happy, thereby being the change you wish to see in the world.